right now about three terms, right? Three terms. And I want you to listen to me. I want you to pay attention. Listen to me very carefully. I'm going to talk to you about seeing. I'm going to talk to you about talking. And I'm going to talk to you about dating, right? Those three, those three terms, right? The only one I'm familiar with in those three terms is dating. Dating is gathering information, right? Let me break down dating for you. Dating is gathering information. That's all I, that's all I want to do. I want to figure out if I'm right for you and if you're right for me. We not in a relationship. We not exclusive, right? I'm not going to cancel everybody else because of you. Because I'm also dating other people because I'm trying to figure out. And dating doesn't involve sex. Dating involves gathering, gathering information and figuring out if I'm right for you, if you're right for me. Let me read your resume. You can read my resume. Right? We're dating. I want to see if we're compatible. I want to see if something's there. But when somebody comes and say, oh, we're talking, I don't know what that means. Right? I, I, I don't help me help me understand. I don't know what that means. Right? Because it, it it's either we is or we isn't or we're dating to figure out what it is. Make sense? It's either it is or it isn't, or we are dating to figure out what it is. The problem with that is that a lot of people are talking to too much people and confusing other people. You see, that's the culture that we're living in. People love to make up ter make up terms and words, right, to separate themselves from fully committing to people with good hearts. People make up these terms. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing. I'm, yeah, I'm, we're, we're seeing each other. Are we seeing each other? Or are we in a relationship? And are we in a relationship? Or are we dating? Right. So you can go from dating to dating exclusively. Make sense? We can go from dating to dating exclusively. Dating exclusively means now I'm not dating um, two to three people, right? To figure out, you know, how compatible I am. Dating exclusively exclusively means that I like this. I, I like what we have here. It, it, it's it's good. I like it. it. It's 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 good. You know, I can see. I'm gonna separate myself. I'm, I'm gonna spend more time with you now. Right. You, you, you've you proved yourself. I asked the right questions. Right. Um, you gave me some good information. I like the vibe. You seem like cool people. I, I want to meet your parents. Stop. We're dating. Right. We're dating exclusively. That's cool. When you say, hey, there, there are some people who are in relationships. Right. In relationships. And they're still using the term talking. There are people who are in full blown relationships. I'm talking about six months, eight months, a year. And they're saying, oh, yeah, we're talking. Talking about what? Because I've been talking to you for, for like for, for years now, for months now. We've been talking. Like, what else do you want me to say? We're talking. A lot of people are wasting their time talking to people who can't even commit to you fully. There are people who are. And you know what's so funny? You gotta really start speaking up about your about your um your relationship status and what you really want out of the relationship. Because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of relationships and couples who are on two different wavelengths. You want two different wavelengths. One person thinks that you're you're dating and you're in a relationship, and the other person is like, we're just talking. Because they don't see you the same way you see them. They see the relationship as talking. I'm still, you know, figuring things out. And I might go over here and talk to him or her. And I might go back there and talk to my ex. You know, and if somebody comes along, I might speak to them too, right? So we're just talking. We're not exclusive. We're not dating exclusively. But the other person is like, you know what? I care about you. I like you. And I thought we were dating exclusively. And that's why letting people know exactly what you want and what you need that first that first day that second day that third day you got to make it clear to people you got to make it very clear to people what you want and what you don't want because if you don't express these things right things get things things miss you 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 miss things in between the lines right people miss things you got to be very clear on your expectations Hey, this is what I want. I want to start dating. I want to build a family. I want to get married, right? You got to date with purpose, not talk with purpose, not seeing with purpose. You have to date with purpose. You have to date with some kind of substance because if people don't see substance in you, well, they don't see substance in the relationship. They don't see purpose in the relationship, right? They don't see enough substance or purpose to get on one knee and propose, right? They don't see substance to have children with you. After you get married, you don't see substance. Some people only see you as an object. And that's where the talking and the seeing comes in. When people say, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, is because they see you as an object. They don't see you as a person. They don't see you as substance. They don't see you as purpose. When someone sees you as purpose, 
The questions are different, right? Their intentions are different. The drive to get you is, is different. When someone really sees you, right, with purpose and they see themselves marrying you, they see themselves building something strong with you, right? The vibe is different. The energy is different. The love is different. The commitment is different. They want to work for it. They love you. They care about you. But you can't get that substance by talking to someone. Right? I'm, I'm we just talking, right? Maybe, maybe I'm confused. Maybe the talking stage is actually the beginning of the dating stage. Right. But I'm talking about the types of relationships where people have been talking for two to three years. People have been, oh, we, we just seen each other for two to three years. Listen, I'm the type of man. You better let me know exactly what it is, when it is. Tell me, what are we? Because if I see somebody else coming, I'm going to go over there and I'm, I'm, I'm going to start talking to him or her. Right. That's the kind of personality that you need to have. Right. You need to have the kind of personality that if somebody else come along, I'm going to talk to him or her. I'm going to have that conversation because you right here, you're giving me kind of red flags. You're giving me lukewarm intentions, right? Because if this is lukewarm, I don't want it. I don't want nothing that's lukewarm. I want a hot plate. I want a hot plate of information. I don't want no lukewarm love because a lot of people has been in too much pain and too much hurt, right? They've been in too much relationships that don't work. To mess around with people. Like people be messing around. I, I see the talking stage and, and see it's messing around. Nobody wants to mess around no more. People want to be married. They want a family. They want kids. They want a home. And they want to build something.